All right, welcome everyone. What we're going to learn today is how to create a true or false activity using H5P on WordPress. And the finished product will look like this, a true or false question with a picture and a statement and then a true or false option. So is this animal, the animal in the picture is a horse, true or false, it is true, check, and I got it correct. All right, let's learn how to do this. So we'll go to our H5P plugin on WordPress and we'll go to add a new activity. Wait for it and we'll search for it true or false question set and let's get this module here and let's install it okay so once it's installed then we can click on use and we can use the true or false question set you can always check out the demo of what you can create and you can create something like I showed you in the intro okay and we'll see here again we'll see the title we'll call this true or false that is the title of the activity you can add an image to your true or false question so let me add an image real quick here so I have a picture of a horse and then we have a uh, alternative text we don't want to put horse we just put animal hover text is optional we don't need that we'll leave the zooming as it is and then we will have the question that we'll ask in the activity so let's say this the animal in the picture is a horse so this is a statement that we made and very simple what is the answer is it true or is it false so in this case the statement is true so we'll leave that as true again we have some behavioral settings here can students retry if they get the answer wrong are they allowed to see the correct solution if they do get it wrong extra confirmation dialogues so before they check when they click check do they get an extra dialogue telling them are they sure they want to check their answers or are they sure they want to retry we don't need those feedback for correct answer or wrong answer so let's just say great for the correct answer wrong for the wrong answer these are optional these are optional and in the next part you just have the text override so this overrides the defaults for all the prompts and for all the uh, all the default text in the activity for example instead of saying true or false they could say something else so you can say right or wrong we don't want to change that 
so this is also helpful if you're doing this activity in, an, in a language other than English then you can potentially use these fields to translate to translate true or false into, a, into another language that way the activity can be in another language or you can use this here to actually change the language that works as well feedback text so this tells them you got at score of total points so the at score here will automatically pull the score that they got in the activity so say they got five questions right out of ten so this would say five so the at score will pull the five automatically and the at total will pull the total points so if he got 5 out of 10, the at score will pull the 5, that's the score he got, and the at total will pull the total available points, which is 10. And then th this would say you got 5 out of 10 points. So this does it automatically. Again, this is the default text for check, social, show solution, retry, wrong answer, correct answer, and all of the other all of the other prompts that are there by default in these activities that you can change again more more text that you can override we don't want to override any of this stuff so we have our activity here now so we have a picture of a horse, we have a question, this animal in the picture is a horse or the animal in the picture is a horse. True or false, the answer should be true. I usually don't like to leave any tools at the bottom of the activity, so I disable toolbar below the content. If you enable it, you can, you can give users some options like downloading the content or taking your activity and embedding it on uh, another website or displaying the copyright button so I'll just disable them all by default and then let's see let's put true or false and we can create our activity and now it is going to show us what our activity looks like so we have a picture of a horse, we have enabled zooming, so you can click on it and it will zoom in to show the full picture. And then we have this, the animal in the picture is a horse, true or false. So I can say false, check, and I get the custom message that I put wrong, and then I get the options to show solution and retry. So let's see what the solution is. This is the solution. Let me retry, and this time I will get it right. I got one out of one. So this is still in the back end. We can take it and we can put it in the front end by taking the short code here. So every time you create an activity, it produces a short code that you can take. You can copy. So let me control C copy and let me start a new post add a new post all right here we are so we'll add a title we'll just name it number two true or false that's what we'll call our post and what we want to do is we want to add a block this is the new WordPress we work with blocks so we'll add a block, a short code block. So we'll type in short code, and this is the short code block that we want. And we just paste our short code in here, H5P ID 2. And that is basically it. We don't really need any of the settings right here. And let's publish this. Publish, yes. and I can view my post now let's view the post and see what it looks like okay 
Great, so we have here our activity, true or false, and it works. Zoom in, zoom back out, and yes, this is a horse, check, and I got one out of one. That's it. So as you can see, we can only we can only create one question if we use the method that I showed you. If you wanted to have multiple true or false questions, you will need to create a question set. So a question set is basically an activity that includes many different types of activities like true or false or multiple choice. And the advantage is that you can add as many questions as you want, as opposed to this method where you can only put one question. If you want to see 